President Joe Biden eulogized the late Ethel Kennedy in deeply personal terms at a memorial service Wednesday, hailing the wife of the late Senator Robert F. Kennedy as a hero in her own right, full of character, full of integrity and empathy, who helped him through one of the darkest periods of his life. Biden was joined by former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton in speaking at the memorial service in Washington. All three reflected on Ethel Kennedy's humor and warmth, her work championing social causes and her unflappable resolve in the wake of tragedy. We're a better nation and a better world because of Ethel Kennedy, Biden said. Biden became emotional as he recalled the Kennedy family helping him cope more than 50 years ago when his wife, 30-year-old Nylia, and their 13-month-old daughter, Naomi, were killed in a car accident, broadsided by a tractor-trailer while out shopping for a Christmas tree. The couple's two sons, Bo and Hunter, who were just about to turn four and three at the time, were also in the car and were seriously injured. Along with Teddy, she got me through a time I didn't want to stick around, Biden said. I wanted no part of being in the Congress, the Senate. The fact is like she did for the country, Ethel helped my family find a way forward with principle and purpose. But you know, Ethel was a hero in her own right, full of character, full of integrity, and empathy, genuine empathy. She's full of laughter and joy and light. She's a great athlete in her own right, for real. She was a mother. Literally, there was nothing from my perspective, and I suspect most of you, that she couldn't do. Nothing. She got me through a time I didn't want to stick around. I wanted no part of being in the Congress, in the Senate. I mean it. I spoke to my governor because we had elected a Democratic governor to find a replacement for me. But Teddy and Ethel Kennedy would hear none of it. You know, uh, the fact is, like she did for the country, as will help my family find a way forward with principle and purpose. Well, that was worth that partial comment, the concert. You know what he said in the way out? For over 50 years, with Ethel's own iron will and moral courage, she gave it everything she had. We're a better nation and a better world because of Ethel Kennedy. Good morning to President Biden, President Clinton, Speaker Pelosi. She was a big dose in a small package. While Bobby was Shy and serious, apparently, Ethel was not. She became a passionate advocate for everything. Her life was marked by more tragedy and heartbreak than most of us could bear. And she would have been forgiven, I think, if at any point she had stepped away from public life or allowed bitterness to fester after all she and her family had been through. But that is not what Ethel did because that's not who she was. She had a way of uh, believing in you, maybe before you fully believed in yourself. What a gift. I sure did love Ethel Kennedy. I miss her. I miss her smile. I miss her warmth. I miss her generosity, and I miss her grace. May God bless her, and may she rest in eternal peace.
She was an amazing fireball of continuous energy. It was wonderful to be around her. Every time I think of her, I thought of her ever since she passed. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being Hillary's friend. Thank you for caring. Thank you for the family you built and the untold families you inspired. The good Lord knows if anybody ever deserved a quality escort to the pearly gates, it's you. God bless you. Thank you.